Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we have a special one for you today with two guests as we do our first podcast ever here on this channel. We have Logan. Say hi, Logan. Good morning, everyone. This is Logan. And we also have CeeLo here today. What's up, everybody? And we're here to talk about a little bit about a little bit of, of video games here. We're going to talk about some questions on what we're playing today, a little bit about news, and let's talk about some news of the week. So, recently, guys, I just saw this news uh, a couple of days ago, actually, that the PlayStation 5 will be more expensive now. I can't believe it's going to be going up $50 around the world, but the USA doesn't go 50 bucks more. I'm guessing that's because that's one of the biggest areas they need to make money in. And they don't want to lose their, you know, their their track right now. But Microsoft and Nintendo said, nope, we're not going to make any changes at all. What do you guys think about that? Uh, well, would this be the first ever price increase? Cause I think so. I don't remember any console actually increasing their price. Well, they say they're doing it because of, you know, economics today, inflation, um, and everything that's but been going on a, with the yeah, economical this climate. A, this is the president, then, like, no, no, it's never happened, right? So, and in my opinion, like, anything, when you, whenever you increase the price on anything, it's always a negative reaction, right? Yeah, I mean, weren't they selling it in the beginning at a loss? So, I guess it makes sense, right? That, like, wasn't the idea that they just gonna sell at volume but they were they were they weren't like charging what they should have the yeah but it's never happened like so. they've, uh, companies have always sold their consoles at a loss and make up they make it up in the software and the things but i don't think any company that has ever increased their console price by 50 bucks right that's true um but it's because of the climate you know they're saying that they're losing even more money now but they're kind of, what I don't like about it is, in my take is, yeah, they're losing money, but now they're passing the buck to the consumers, you know. Of course, it's not in the United States, but it's around the world, even in Japan, their hometown. So that's what surprises me a little bit, where yeah, they're the, not willing the, to do the it the in the reason, United States. What's the reasoning behind it, though? Why is it everywhere else except the U.S.? Well, the biggest market share for gaming is the U.S., right? Let's be honest, right? Uh, everyone caters yeah. to the U.S. But in my make opinion, sure that the, they sell the, the most thing. consoles in the U.S., right? That's where the Xbox thrives the most. That's where PlayStation thrives the most, including Nintendo. They, they sell a lot of games here, basically. So Japan. I think that's the main reason why they didn't change their pricing. But, you know, do you think it's a good move by Sony to do this? I mean... No, me? I, I don't think it's a good move at all. But uh, Japan is also a pretty big share of, like... Sony's a Japanese company, and they've always been the, uh, if you go by PlayStation's history, they've always been the, the top, so, I mean, Nintendo, right? It's always been Nintendo or Sony. So I don't see why they wouldn't increase it there. They would make they would make money off that. Yeah, so far Nintendo hasn't done it. They said they're not going to change it either, to a lesser extent. I mean, I don't know how much... To, they're losing. To, but why uh, would Nintendo I, I believe do Nintendo's it? Yeah. usually at cost, though. Yeah, but why would Nintendo do it? The system's like five, six years old. Why would they raise the price now? Well, they're just saying for um, to get the systems out there now. If you want newer systems, you know that aren't already made. You know, moving forward, they're going to just be costing more, just to make. You know, overall. Well, I, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think the Nintendo, the new Nintendo Switch, will be coming out soon, though? Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. Is maybe this is just. Uh... In preparation of you know how they uh, have the 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 second iterations of consoles like the uh, the PlayStation Pro or the uh, Xbox uh, what is it what's it what was it the S yeah the S Xbox. that like maybe they're preparing for you know that next iteration and they're gonna price point it at that five fifty or whatever they're selling they're increasing it to like yeah. I'll be honest. I think the Switch is going to last another two they're, years. They're increasing by 50 bucks. It's been selling for 500 So it's that, you're talking about the 550 price point now, right? Yeah, it'll be 550 with tax. It'll be like $600. That's quite a bit for your average Joe to just put out 600 bucks for a console. 
Yeah, and when you come out with the next iteration, like a little upgrade or faster uh, console, you increase the price. Or you lower the price of the previous and increase, I mean, keep the price of the current, like, you know, the Xbox One S. When it came out, it was probably around the same price when Xbox One first came out, right? And then they just lowered the price of the original Xbox One. So maybe that's what they're preparing for. It's been about like two years already, right? Since it came out. Pretty much, yeah. So that makes sense to me. I so. 20, by $50 20, dollars and you're gonna, No, but you increase it by $50 and then in the next year or so, you'll probably see a PlayStation 5 Pro or something, right? That's true. Um, we'll see. I mean, they're already talking about an Xbox Series S2 or Series X2. Or an upgraded elite version of the Xbox Series S. That's what I heard uh, as a rumor that um, the elite version of that one is just going to come with better, but more a little bit more RAM and a little bit more um, space for your hard drive. Uh, that'll be actually welcome. They'll probably put it back to a gig instead of five twelve. But um, so you think it would be a price increase? No, I think that they'll drop the price of the Xbox Series S. Yeah, and then they'll have the elite or X two. What they, they have the, traditionally uh, where has been going out. on, right? That's how it's always been. Or, or you know, you're right. They might increase it by maybe fifty bucks or so, but they'll have better components. See, that's the thing about what Sony did that I don't like is they increased the price, right? But there's no value for the consumer. So, I mean, in in the year that the era that we are right now with dig- digital gaming, right? They could totally just say, hey, you know what? Here's a free game. You know, or pick your game of choice. Just give you a digital code or for, like, some money online. I mean, all the digital, they're not going to lose anything. It's just a code, right? They just give video game codes all, all the time. Mm-hmm. And they don't really lose anything. They don't have to do manufacturing costs or anything. So they could have just said, hey, you know, have a game on us. Like, play XYZ, whatever that game might be. But, you know, we're, we're charging you a little bit more, but we're giving you more in value. Even though they don't lose too much, right? That way, I think a lot of more people would be a lot happier with that. You know, but in this case scenario, they're just saying, hey, it's 50 bucks. Um, tough luck. You know, I know it's tough for us. It's tough for everyone. But we're just going to increase it. But this is for both, right? This is for the uh, non-hard drive version and the hard drive version. Yeah. So right now, what is it? 500 for a uh, normal one with hard drive. Yeah, and 400. Uh, with for the disc, and then the hard drive one alone will be 400, right? So it would be 450 now. Yeah, so I'm thinking that would that would gear people towards the uh, the 450, right? Yeah. So, like CeeLo, what made you buy an Xbox Series S then? Is it was it for the price? No, I just wanted to play with my friends. That's it. But you know, sometimes they don't always show up. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's what I was getting at is. You would get the. They have that new PlayStation, the the new tiers in the uh, PlayStation Plus. So yeah. they're kind of uh, aiming for. That's what the. That's why I saw how the Series S was. Was it was mainly just if you if you only have a hard drive, you're only going to download digital games. They have right. they have Game Pass, which is like Netflix now. So basically, you can stream games. You don't have to just store them on your hard drive. You could just stream games if you have. You know, barring your in- internet connection quality, I guess. But uh, these days, people have pretty high speeds, right? You know, their internet connection. So you can just stream games. You can just use it as a, you know, how Stadia and uh, Amazon services. Maybe Sony's yeah. preparing for that, you think? Uh, streaming well, service? No, like if they okay, you increase the price by fifty dollars, people are gonna tend to go towards the lower priced one. So you know, four fifty, five fifty now, right? So people are gonna buy the the four fifty one without the disc drive. Oh. Well, I think there's less out there for uh, the digital version. They're selling more disc based ones. Are you sure? sure? Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you hear this? <laughs> it's just dumb. <laughs> No, but, well, it, but in general, hard. if you were, if you were, if you were trying, buying a uh, system, you would pay for the 450 rather no, than I know, 450. yeah. I mean, the price is there for sure. But um, they're trying to send out, they're, they're manufacturing more of the disk drive, more than the um, 
digital hard one. The, that one's harder to find. I mean, I've had a lot of friends who were trying to find versions of the system out there, right? And it's easier to get a disk drive one. It's harder to get um, just a digital version of the PlayStation. Which means... Because uh, I guess it's more the, rare. Which means the digital version is the one that people people are buying, actually. Because there's less... Or, or they're not manufacturing as many. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, that's, that's the word I got. It's just that Sony wanted more of the um, disk drive more. Um, of course, it's going to be going to that trend where we're all, we're all going to go digital anyways, right? That's true. Yeah, and but, uh, well, um, you can go by Xbox. I'm sure they're selling more Series S's than Series X's, right? I mean, well, that has the price scheme, though. That's what I think. It's more of the value there because you get the Xbox Game Pass and you get digital. I mean, it's a no-brainer right there. Plus, it's so much cheaper. What is it, like uh, 299 right? Uh-huh. So you're talking about 299 plus um, Game Pass, the value there in comparison to say, you know, a 450 machine, you know. Well, the Sony difference is 100, and that's. Well, now it's going to be 150. <laughs> elsewhere, you know, not in America, but I mean, you're, you're going to have to make that choice. The yeah. normal person who's going to like buy the systems are young, young kids too, right? Mom and pop are going to have to see if it's worth it to buy their kid. You know, I'm doing right now. The 450 is a lot more than the 550 dollars cheaper. What was that, Logan? The 450? That would sell. That would people would choose that over the 550, right? Yeah. Okay, so that that's that's what I was getting at. They're losing that much money on selling consoles, and maybe you you already know Xbox mission and goal. They're kind of going console lists. Remember how they have the streaming service now with Game Pass, and uh, you could have a Samsung TV and and still play Game Pass. You don't even need a console. Well, X, X, you got to understand, Xbox is totally taking a different route compared to uh, Sony. Sony wants you to play it on their system and their system alone. Where well, Xbox says, pretty much, whatever you have out there, if you could stream it, if you could play it, whatever it is, you know, we want you to play it. That's their motive right now. I mean, their system is great, yes, definitely, hardware-wise. But if you don't have it, enough money to buy it, you can actually... If you have a Samsung TV now, all you have to do is like subscribe to Game Pass. Certain Samsung TVs, of course, newer ones, where you could just stream online Game Pass. It's, there's an app on there already set up for you where you just yeah. Play and don't you think you that that's the, future, the that's the future of gaming? Like, like look at all the games that everyone plays. They're free games, right? And they make they just make the money off of. Uh... Well, yeah, that's part of it. I mean, they they have to look into the free game market. Okay, I mean, so market Sony, market. they're going, well, yeah. they're doing the opposite thing and in increasing price. You're paying more just to play games. So it shows you that that's kind of the wrong, the wrong way the industry is going. It's trending. As of right now, it is it. definitely they're being they're alone in this. But we'll see if it affects them. We'll see. I mean, there's a lot of fan service for Sony doing the right thing. Of course, you know those are Sony fans. But for me, just looking at it from a third person perspective, I think this was brave of them. Number one, for sure. To do this because they're gonna look bad about any price increases they're always gonna look bad but um you know what? we don't know what their financials are it could be that they're really bad and who knows you know they need this to keep afloat but i doubt that i'll be honest with you but we'll see you know only the future will tell but moving on to our next uh next one is uh about you know remade games so coming out soon is the last of us part one remastered right or remade again for the ps5 Later on, we had some news that Lollipop Chainsaw, old Xbox 360 and PS3 game, is going to be coming back from um, from those t- that time period and remade again. My question is, you know, what game do you feel like you want to see back, you know, remade into the next gen graphics, visuals, sound effects, everything, and me- and control mechanics? You know, hey guys, I'll start it off with. Um, I like the uh, Microsoft Xbox uh, original Jade Empire. It was done by Bioware a long, long time ago. And that is one of my favorite games, um, action RPGs of all time, honestly. It was right before I think they made Mass Effect. So um, they were just learning how to, um, kind of, well, they just came off of like Star Wars. And they just made Jade Empire on their own for their own IP. 
And that's one of the ones that I definitely would like to see remade with better visuals, better. I mean, they actually not, they knocked it out of the ballpark back then on an Xbox. I'm wondering what they could do now with it, you know? What about you, uh, Sheila? What do you think? Uh, Rampage is what I Rampage. want. Is that, a, is that an okay answer? I mean, yeah, I like I love Rampage as a kid. I'd love to see it next gen. Rampage is the one with, uh, they're like kind of jumping on buildings, right? The monsters that are eating people. And, yeah, uh, they're like avoiding Destroying the buildings and, and you just and, last yeah, as long as you the, can, right? And you eat the people, uh, yeah, to get like power-ups, right? And then you could either be the, the giant ape or the lizard. That one. Yeah, I've seen it before where they've done some remakes, but all they've done is the not a really <laughs> remake, kind of like a remaster of putting it in better graphics in 2D. But one mm-hmm. thing I would like to see in Rampage is a 3D version of it. Yeah, definitely. Where you probably can even fight other monsters if they're eating your people that you want to protect. Maybe something like that. Yeah, or make it RPG style so you could, like, uh, you know, get clothes for your monster or, um, you know, like, buff up or whatever. <laughs> buff, <laughs> up. <laughs> buff up. Yeah. Buff yeah. Up. Make them stronger, right? Yeah, you can. So they survive longer. I mean, definitely in the arcades, you would die pretty fast with all the, everything hitting you. But um, now that's like you, you want to make the game play longer. I wonder how they would actually do that, uh, making your experience more and more. You know, the monster gets stronger, has to get stronger eventually. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Logan, pick? what do you think? What's your game besides uh, Pong? I don't really have a specific game in mind, but this this trend is pretty much you're talking about just remakes. How they've always been doing them, like you know how they remade uh, the Final Fantasy series. They had remakes of uh, or enhancements of uh, Mass Effect, right? Remastered right. and uh, and just generally this next gen, the like Xbox, they enhance the games, old games when you play them. They, the FPS, they aim for a higher FPS, higher resolution. So is that? You know, is that the attraction? Like, you want to see games with that look better, or you want to see it, or you just want to have him like uh, in Philo's case, he wants even more on top of just uh, uh, a facelift, right? He wants uh, like new new options to customize, like what what we have today in today's gaming, right? Yeah. So is that is that is that what is that what's like uh, causing this trend? Like you said, you would get a new Jade Empire. Do you want it just to be a facelift, or do you want it to be completely new, like how you would play a current game? Like, you, do you want them to change it that much, or do you want them to keep it the same? Because it's already been going on that way. The, the Resident Evil series, right? They've all got facelifts. Every single game. It's hard to tell. I mean, honestly, in today's gaming, like they did a facelift of what was that? Uh, Well, there's a new one coming out soon in January as well. What is it called? Um, it's a scary one. I forgot what it's called. It was a Deep Space or Space something. Electronic Arts release. Oh, right? I know what you're um, talking about. Uh, Dead Space? Dead so Space. That's right. So Thank it, you. Uh, see, but it wouldn't, be, you, it wouldn't be a remake but, anymore. Um, then it would just be an actual sequel, right? Or an actual, I guess. Well, it is a remake. They're oh, making okay. the first one. Um, but when I kind of look at it, I mean, I'll agree with you that I'm not sure. Maybe the resolution's higher. Maybe better textures. I like but it. to me, they were like running it side by side. It kind of looked the same to me. But um, so like a, a, a 2D game that you like in the 2D era into a next gen, next gen facelift like that. Yes. Like how Jaguar did Tempest 2000. Oh my god! You know. Well, we're running out of time here today, and it looks like uh, we'll have to. Hopefully get back to it next episode, but we're going to call it a day for our first podcast ever. And hopefully the next one, we can get some questions from the audience that we can answer. So in this case scenario, hopefully, you know, we talked about some things about Sony. Hopefully we'll see what happens with them on games that we're playing next time. And we'll review maybe a game or two here or there. See how, what we're playing out there and letting you guys know. All right. Well, thank you so much for, uh, joining us today and we will see you next week and next upload. Thank you. See you next week. Ciao. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
Yeah.